With part of my desktop Y Helmets collections, we can centrally manage and share Y Helmets across multiple desktop flows. Instead of capturing the same Helmets manually for each flow, you can reuse Helmets from the collection. If you already worked with YPath and know about the object repository, Y Helmets collections is basically the same thing, it has the same purpose. And on this tutorial, we'll learn how to use it. Just a remark before getting started, Y Helmets collections is a premium feature available only to premium or trial users. So if you are using a free Microsoft account, you'll not have access to iHelmets collections. So let's get started by learning how to create a iHelmets collection. So I've just created a new PowerMe desktop flow and now let's capture some iHelmets. So here, if we open the iHelmets tab, here we can see that we have the flow repository. So Helmets that we uh, have captured here on our flow and then else we have here now a new tab the collections where will appear the collections that we are using on our flow so let's capture here uh, some helmets from this web page which you can find the URL on the description of this tutorial so I'll just click on add white helmet and capture the username now let's capture the password field and let's capture also here the login button and here we have captured the three helmets. Let's press done. And so here we have the elements that we have captured right now. So let's say now that we want to create a collection for this web app, this web page. So first we have to check the helmets that we want to include on the collection. We can consider all helmets captured for the page by checking here this checkbox related to the web page screen and we can see that all helmets are checked also we can check individually if we want so if we just want some helmets to be added to the collection so let's add all of them so i'll check it now and now if you click here and we can see the publish as new collection option so with this option we can create and publish a new Y helmets collection so let's click here. And now we have to define the collection name. Uh, let's use the one that is here on the tab. And have here just login. And now here we have an option to auto update actions in the flow to reference the selected helmets from the new collection where applicable. So if we leave this option uh, marked, in simple words, this means that if we have here actions that uses any of these Y helmets that we are having now to a collection that will be created. Uh, if we mark this option, basically what happens is that uh, the actions will be updated to ensure that they reference the helmet from the collection instead of the helmet only accessible from the flow. So let's leave this option uh, checked and now let's press publish. Now let's just wait a bit. And as we can see, the collection was created and published successfully. And now as we can see it at collections, as now this collection it's added on the flow. Also, we can see that on the Hasses library. If we go to White Helmets Collections, here we can see it that the collection that was created it's now added to the flow. So now to use helmets from the collection, it's pretty simple. So we can use, for example, here the populate action from web form filling and now here on Y helmet we can choose the helmet from the collection so here let's choose the user text field and now to use helmets from the collection it's pretty simple so let's use here the action populate text field from web form filling and now uh, we have always to indicate the web browser instance so here on Y Helmet, we can see now here the collections and from here we can select the helmet from the collection. So let's choose the username element and here let's have some text. So here web browser instance, let's use the launch edge action. So we create the browser instance. And so initial URL, so let's take here, paste. And now let's pass here the browser instance, let's save. And now let's just close here the browser and let's see if it's working. 
And so the browser was open and also was written the text on the username text field. So it's working properly. So now let's learn how we can use this collection on another flow and also uh, learn how we can update the collection with a new helmet and also publish uh, the update of the collection. So then now let's create a new flow and learn how we can also use this collection from a new flow. So let's create a new flow collections two and let's create a flow. So now from this flow to have access to have the collection that we have created and published it before, we have to go to assets library and on Y Helmets collections, we have to have the collection that we have published. And now we have to select a machine to where we want to have the collection. So in my case, it's a local computer. Let's add. And so now the collection, it's added to the flow. So here we can see on collections that appears the collection that we have created before. And so we can use it in the same way that we have used it on the previous flow. So now let's learn how to update a collection. And so for that, let's add a new helmet to this collection. So from here, let's add a new Y helmet. And now let's add, for example, this label login page. So let's add it. And so it was added. So let's press done. Element captured. So now to add this helmet to existing collection here, let's click on this option and click on add to imported collection. And so here, let's select the collection to where we want to add this Y helmet. And now here again, this option that we have seen before when creating the collection, let's check it and let's press add. And here you can see that the helmet was added to the collection. However, this is not official, let's say. So for example, if we go to the previous flow, uh, we can even close it. And if we open it again, we'll see that this new Y helmet will not appear on the collection. So if we go here, we can see that the helmet doesn't appear. Why? Because we didn't publish the updated version of the collection. So for that here, where we have had the Y helmet to the collection. Now here, let's press this button to publish the changes made to the collection. So now let's press publish. Now it's been published the update. And here you can see a success message saying that the collection was updated successfully. So now if you go back to the previous flow, we can see that doesn't appear yet here the new headed helmet to the collection. So let's close here the flow and open it again to see if it gets the updated version where we have added a new Y helmet to the collection. And so now here we can see that was refreshed here the collection. And so we got the updated version where appears the new Y helmet. So now that we have learned how to create, publish, use and update a Y Helmets collection, let's learn how to manage it. So we can manage Y Helmets collections from Power Automate. So here, if we go to more and click now on this cover hall, uh, here uh, we can see Y Helmets collections option. So we can pin it so it appears here, as we can see. And from here, we can manage our Y Helmets collections. So we can see all the Y Helmets collections that exist on our environment. Also from here, we can edit. So we can change the name of the Y Helmet collection and add a description. Also from here, we can share the Y Helmets collections. And also we can delete them. So we can see here the option to delete. So if you click on delete, uh, we'll see that we'll get an error. Why? Because we are using this collection on two flows. So to fix this, so let's say that we want to lead a collection that shouldn't be used anymore on the flows. So here, what we need to do, we need to remove the collection from each flow. And also here, now we are getting an error because the helmet doesn't exist anymore on the flow because we have removed the collection. So I'll just delete this action. 
And also, if here now we remove also uh, the import of the collection. So now if you go back and try again to delete, we can see that we are able to delete the Y Helmets collection. And that's it for this tutorial. If you like it, please give a thumbs up and now subscribe to the channel and enable notifications bell so we don't miss any tutorial released here on the channel.